where you can ride the beasts of the bean world. All borrowers are welcome, only borrowers. Miniature people who live in walls for anyone who needs clarification. We have the choice between our largest size, Yoshi the Slug Burger. She's a little smelly, she sneezes, but she can handle a borrower on more of the thicker side of the scale, if you know what I mean. And then we've got our middle size baby boy butters. We can handle the average size borrowers. And of course, for the kids, We've got our mini side, the Rigsby. All are welcome, all are welcome. Come one, come all. Ride our newest attraction. I'll take the Rigsby. What? He's so cute. Sounds like fun. Ma'am, this is for borrowers. Many people. Yeah. I'm 5'2". I'm pretty miniature in my world. Drop these butt cheeks on that cute little dog. Let's go. My butt cheeks are ready for some sitting. That can't happen. What? Our rides can only handle one to five pounds depending on the ride of choice. Which means, don't you say it. You're, you better not, to say it. Big, big, big. <laughs> That's it. What are you doing? I'm, <laughs> I'm posting this on TikTok. Wait, that'll destroy my whole business. I don't care, little small thing. I'm gonna TikTok my ass off and cancel you via TikTok. You are going to kill one of our dogs if you sit on them. More fat shaming? Oh, hell no. Okay, I, I know my business is dead after whatever all of this gets posted, but watching it in real life, it's just an experience, not a good one. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Fit it up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. This video is sponsored by me and my protein donut company and my weight loss support group. For more information, click the links below in my description and thank you all for the support. Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel where I do random skits with my dogs and they absolutely kind of like it because they get treats after. Also, welcome to the channel where I have a pimple above my lip and when I was doing my makeup, I decided to draw on it with eyeliner to make it look like a mole. And then I didn't like it and I tried to smudge it away and then it just smeared everywhere. And now I'm just gonna stop. So I'm just, just gonna be there, if you're wondering. Also that skit was in reference to the movie The Borrowers, 90s classic. I'm sure everybody knows it. Loved it, tiny people living in walls. That was the main point, where they snuck into the freezer and ate ice cream with their hand. and that is probably why I completely was obsessed with it because I've always wanted to eat ice cream with my hands. Just scoop it in. Just, just scoop it. It's another fat chick video. Bam. So apparently a TikToker was triggered out of her mind because she went to a ranch with a bunch of her TikToking friends who happened to all be thin and they got there to ride horses and they told her, you're too fat. You, just too big, you will break our horses' backs. This is not safe for the horses. You gotta go, you gotta leave. You gotta get your fat butt cheeks out. Now, before even looking into this story, just hearing it, I was like, she got upset about this? Because if I was a horse, hypothetically, I wasn't called horse face in middle school or anything. This isn't bringing back traumatic memories. So personally, hypothetically speaking, if I was a horse and my job was to carry random humans that come visit me on the ranch, I personally wouldn't want someone that exceeded the weight limit of my back to get on my back. Now putting myself in the obese TikToker's shoes, I would be very upset and not upset at the horse or the situation, just more upset like at myself because damn it, one to ride a horse and I'm fucking fat. Dang it. Damn you hot Cheetos, damn you. 
Cake donuts, those are good. And damn you, what else do I really like? Pancakes with extra butter and eggs with extra butter. Damn all of you. So just putting myself in her shoes, I'd probably be very embarrassed if all my friends were smaller than me. I'm already the bigger chick out of everybody and everybody gets to ride a horse and my fat ass doesn't. Now talking to people in the comment section or in my uh, inbox who sent me this story, they were like, Michelle, have you seen this? Some fat ass TikTok and bitch is upset because she wasn't allowed to ride on a horse because she exceeded the weight limit and she had an attitude problem. She's a fat acceptance person. Talk about her. She's horrible. But also I have found in the past that some of y'all that be creeping into my inbox are a, a little dramatic and that's why I need to look into the person that you're talking about or the situation you're talking about a little bit more. And yes, a little is a word. Look it up. It's real. I wanted the whole story, so I talked to the TikToker in person. Just kidding, I'm not that important. She's got over 2 million followers on TikTok. She ain't gonna talk to me. All right, well, let's see who this person is. Rumi Bader, or Bader is a 26-year-old plus-size model and TikToker with over 2 million followers on her TikTok page. She graces her audience with plus-size style, try-on hauls for women who are bigger so they can get a sense of what certain brands and clothing styles will look like on them. From jeans, dresses, she does it all, baby. She also does different skits where she screams, a lot. Well, recently, Remy got into some controversy when her and her friends went to a place called Deep Hollow Ranch. Everything was going just dandy. A bunch of TikTokers going on a TikTok field trip to TikTok around some horses. Or on them, I'm not too sure what TikTokers do on a ranch. Do you guys TikTok around the horses? Do you lip sync while you're Right, I don't know what they do. They didn't show any videos of them TikToking because their visit or Remy's visit soon came to an end. So they were very excited to ride the horses. They just marched up in there and one of the employees noticed that Remy, she was a little thick, a little bigger than need be for the horses. Well, Remy was absolutely pissed that she got called out and got told no, no horse for you that she decided to call them out on TikTok. Shout out to Deep Hollow Ranch in Mon talk for making me leave because I weigh over 240 pounds. In the caption it states, I've rode horses before and have never had this issue. Please add verse this on your signs for the future. I mean, Remy, just because you rode a horse before doesn't mean that you can ride a horse right now. Like maybe before she was less weight, she weighed less and so she could ride and now it's been a few years since she rode and now she gained weight and cannot ride. Or maybe the other ranch's horses were bigger. I don't know how this horse thing starts. I only rode a horse twice. And the most recent one that I remember, I was very scared. And those suckers are big, but I don't know if I don't, I don't know how big, I don't know how big the limit is though. If a ranch told me, girl, you're too big, the horse is gonna get hurt because of your butt cheeks, I'd be like, that's okay, because I don't want a horse to get hurt. Because if I'm on a horse when they get hurt, don't they like flip you off, buck you off, like they throw you. I don't want that, so thank you for telling me. So Remy was saying that she doesn't wanna take down a small business, but she didn't like the situation that was going on. She didn't understand why there weren't signs on a door saying, you know, weight capacity, even though we all know a lot of people from the body acceptance community does not like those types of signs. They think they are fat phobic, so. I feel like you can never go right with this, but this is what Remy was saying. She didn't want to take down a small business, but she also does not agree with how they handled the situation. And people were saying, you don't want to take down a small business, but you're putting them on your TikTok with over 2 million followers to have your minions sprint to this small business and, you know, drive down their stars. You know, usually when people post about a business, all their followers go who have never gone to the ranch, go and give them one star, bringing down their star reviews. So people were upset about that. And after all the backlash, many people were siding with the horse. They said, um, why do you want to break a horse's back just to protect your feelings and your ego? And you know what Remy said after all of that? She said that she's not taking anyone's opinions anymore on this topic. Hmm. I'm not taking anyone's opinion on this one. So now you think for the rest of this video, because we clearly have more time left, that I'm just gonna be bagging on Remy. I'm just gonna be breaking down her TikTok saying, girl, this is dumb and that's stupid and you're entitled. Couldn't think of like a fart face. You fart face. You are an entitled fart face. 
Remy. I'm just gonna mock her for the rest of the video just like I do all the other fat activists. Wrong. I actually started to change my mind while I was looking at Remy's content. I don't know if I'm completely on her side. I don't know if I'm on the ranch side. I'm more in the middle and a little not confused, just like, huh, I wasn't there, but something came out where I was like, uh, looking at the ranch, you guys seemed a little, I'm kind of going over to the fat girl side. Dare I say too, that I might actually like Remy. And I also think that she's quite harmless. Plot twist, stay with me. You guys know I like to look at things a little deeper rather than side with everybody that's in my inbox saying that this fat activist is a big ol' fat bitch. So like I said, I wasn't at this ranch. I can't tell you, I can't speak from facts. I can't tell you what happened. I can't say my exact opinion because I don't really know exactly what happened. But from what I'm reading, Remy says it's not about her not being able to ride. She doesn't want to hurt a horse. And I, and I do have to say, it would be nice to have some signs on the door about, you know, weight limits and whatnot, but the company did have weight limits instructions on their website. So it was there. She just needed to do some research and find out. Unfortunately, she found out right in front of everybody. Actually, I have the quote right here. We will hear it straight from Remy's lips, from my lips and my mole. Is it still there? Oh yeah, you guys can see it. It's there. I never want to hurt the horses. I get it. Some places have weight requirements. The way I was spoken to and laughed at and the way I was treated overall was the reason that she decided to speak out. Now you could say that she's lying. I don't know. She could have copped an attitude the moment she got told. No, because many rich people, many people who have a lot of followers do not like that word no. Have you ever told a rich person no? They get. Richie bitchy. But then I saw that one of the employees decided to TikTok back to Remy. When you're not a fat bitch, you can ride a deep olive ranch. And you can say what you want about Remy, but this guy's a whole ass idiot. There's no video yet of Remy getting insane or acting entitled at the ranch. But there is a video of this dude acting like a butt cheek and not a plump, delicious, squat booty butt cheek. When you're not a fat bitch, you can ride a deep olive ranch. Apparently this is the son of the people of the ranch. I'm not too sure. This story wasn't that interesting that I'm gonna go check out the guy. Actually, no, I lied. I did go try to find his Insta or his TikTok and it's taken down, it's gone. There's only TikTokers made by people that are siding with Remy now to show what he was saying about Remy. But I don't know if he was the son or not. It doesn't matter. I would just be extremely upset if this was my business and say I wasn't there, I'm the business owner, say I wasn't there, I'm not too sure if the owner was there or not. It looked like there was just a bunch of very young kids doing the whole horse riding thing. So I have no idea, but I would be so upset if this was my freaking business. We've got weight limits, we've got things to keep the animals safe and the customers safe. And there is a situation where we have this obese girl who is very excited to be part of my ranch and be part of, you know, riding horses and we had to turn her down. And then some fucking big chinned idiot. Just saying, man, crimson chin cosplay will come very naturally for you. Decides to tick tock and call her a fat bitch. I would have never done this in my teenage years. I would even have done this if I was five. So like I said, I don't know if someone informed her in a nice way. I don't know exactly what happened. If there was no information and this video didn't come out and it was just some fat acceptance chick saying, this company didn't let me ride on their horses. They were very, very rude. And, and, and they talked to me in a certain way and they were just mean. They were fat phobic and they won't let me put my fat butt cheeks on a horse. I'd be like, girl, shut up lose weight and then you can get your ass on the horse. Nobody was mean to you, you're lying, like all these other fat acceptance people. But this dude came out and did this shit. I, am I siding with the fat acceptance people? Yes, no, I don't know. I'm not too sure, I'm not there, but I just see this video and he just seems like that traditional dude that has balls and chin. He's got the balls to say whatever he wants and he's at his work at his job. It always just gets me, and I was someone who, the customer is not always right, but I would never do this. <laughs> I would just never do this. I will show you how to clap back at a client or in a corporate setting where someone's having a little attitude issue and you can still keep your composure, but also let them know you don't play. Hi, Remy, can I have a few words with you um, over here, away from everyone else? I know that you were looking forward to riding a horse today at, what's the, name of this place, 
Moonstein Ranch, but unfortunately you do exceed our weight limit and we do have weight limits in place to keep our horses and our customers safe. So you don't have to leave, but you just are not able to ride the horses today. And then if she comes at you with an attitude problem, I know that you're upset, but the safety of our horses are way more important than your feelings. See ya. Handled. Because you know the moment you start saying fat bitch that and tick tock you get the fuck off my ranch fatty and there's no videos of her freaking out, you guys are in the wrong. And if this is the sun, you are running your family's business to the ground. Cause you know what people are gonna say, the apple don't fall far from the tree. Honey, my brother is a butt cheek, not the good kind. And he is completely different from my mom. So I saw a lot of comments saying, oh, if he's like this, his parents are definitely like this. Oh yeah, they were saying all of these things. They could have, but I mean, they could not have as well. So I don't know, she could have had been a total jerk face after they told her no. I'm not too sure. But the way that this guy was talking and the fact that no one was saying anything, no employees came up, said nothing, makes me think majority of the staff could have been rude. There's so much stuff that we don't see, I'm not too sure, but I just see a guy TikToking about a business that's not his on a ranch telling some girl that she's a fat bitch. And then nobody in the background saying anything except for a few chuckles. I think I heard a few chuckles there. When you're not a fat bitch, you can ride a deep olive ranch. Also, I saw a lot of people messaging me and saying, Michelle, she's a fat activist. She's this and that. She's entitled, that and that. And I would be leaning more towards their opinion. But then I went to Remy's page and I didn't see any promoting obesity or hashtag haze, health at every size type hashtags. I could have missed something. Let me know if I did, but I didn't see any of that. Remy is someone that publicly stated that she has binge eating disorder and is trying to do better. She knows that she has an issue. She honestly just seems very harmless. And it kind of sucks that people are pushing her into like the fat acceptance type individuals when she's just somebody that seems like she is a bigger woman. She's got binge eating disorder. She still likes to be fashionable. She likes to show off her clothes. She likes makeup, hair, and just, you know, being a girl. She's showing other women that are her size what they can do fashion wise. And then she ended up in a situation where she was really excited to ride a horse, probably bummed out when she couldn't ride the horse. And then they got this big chin dude just going ham after. I don't know what he was thinking to do that. And also I have a bone to pick with Remy's friends. Apparently none of her friends like they, she, for some reason she had to leave. I'm not too sure why she had to leave. I wish there was like a public statement, but the only statement we got is the dude. So I don't know, but she left and none of her friends went with her. Honey, if my friend, any skinny or anything, couldn't ride a horse and was told to leave, I'm leaving with my friend. I don't need to ride a horse that bad and take talk on a horse. Remy, I'm calling out your friends too, because this guy was talking shit about you in front of your friends and ain't nobody said nothing. That doesn't seem like friendly people. And she was saying that this is the guy that was saying all of those things to her. And if he has the balls to just get on TikTok, pick up his phone, log into TikTok, go to her page, a client's page, and then respond to her video saying all of that and then not acting in a professional way, you know, like clap back in a professional way. That makes me think that he was saying some shit on the rant. So he also issued an apology. So let's check that out. For what I said, I didn't mean it at all. I don't represent the ranch with what I said at all. It was all on me. It has nothing to do with them. They had no idea that I was doing it. It was my own decision and had nothing to do with them. It was all on my own. I'm, I'm very, very sorry. Someone tell me, does this boy still work there? If he's the owner's son, does he, is he still around? Would they keep him on the ranch? He's probably still working there, but he's milking the cows, just milk the tits. I would have fired his ass because he definitely affected the business. And then about the people saying, well, she's hurting a small business by talking about them on TikTok. I mean, everything's up to talk to. We live on social media, you guys. If something happened to you, you would probably put it on social media or you'd probably talk about it. So I see a lot of normal people talking about certain businesses on Facebook or YouTube or Instagram, but she is the one that has a following. So unfortunately that really, really sucks. I kind of agree with the people like saying, well, you say you don't want to bring down a small business, but you're talking about this business. 
Once you should have just talked to that fucking dude or talked about that fucking dude. That was enough. Now me, I don't play this. I don't want to take a business down. No, my salty ass is bringing down everyone and everything. Everyone's going to hell. <laughs> Treat me right. Just kidding, but yeah, to treat me right, cause I'm salty. So I don't know, I don't know if it was every single employee being rude to her, and if that was the case, I would have talked about them. I don't know if she was the one that freaked out about it, and that's what led to the big chin sun dude saying, yeah, get out. I'm not too sure. I know a lot of people have like some like stern opinions on this, and we were not there on the ranch, I, I don't really have an opinion, I guess. It's like all over the place, but what is your opinion? Are you on Remy's side? Or are you on the ranch's side? Or are you like, actually, you know what? I know at the end of the day, we're all on the horse's side. There is a weight limit and that is that. And if anything, this proves, you know, to the fat acceptance people, the people that say, your weight does not hold you back from anything. Yeah, actually it does. You can't ride a horse if you exceed the weight limit. Thank you everyone for coming to the show today. Make sure to leave me a comment, let me know your thoughts. Make sure to subscribe. Subscribe to my second channel. Just keep hitting the subscribe button until it says subscribe. Don't like hit it twice and then unsubscribe. Like hit it so you can subscribe. Also follow me on Instagram, TikTok. I don't TikTok on horses or anything like that, but I am there. Remember, you don't have to be a size two. Biceps are great to have to scare away all the boys, but not needed to be healthy, but health is very important and so are horses back. So remember everyone, stay healthy so that one day you can ride a horse. <laughs> Good night. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit it up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh, I've been on the flex since flex zone. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. I ain't never scared.